Tom. Come on down. We'll do a little chat in here. I got, I got kicking around a subject with the, the guys over there about long hair. How long have you had long hair? About, uh, since I was four years old. No, <laughs> you're putting me on. It's gotten longer in the last yeah, year. Yeah, right. About two years, actually. I got this from Gene Pitney. You know, he went to England before yeah. the Beatles. I mean, you, you probably know the story. Yeah. And Gene was in the Air Force or something, got his hair cut very short, and it grew out just like this. And I, <laughs> well, you know, I suppose... No, you're one of the guys I think looks exceptionally well in long hair. Not that... There are, there are some I think it, it's unattractive for because of the nature of the hair itself. This is not the subject we were going to talk about, but I happened to sit down next to a fellow over there who had long hair. Do you believe in the survey? Do you think people who are not in the entertainment business will eventually have long hair? Yeah, I think so. Everybody, uh, a lot of guys that I know, even out of the business, they like long hair, you know? And girls seem to like longer hair on boys nowadays. The little informal survey will continue along. Let me change the subject for a second. You are one of the most successful record producers in the business. How long did it take you to get there? I started uh, like 1959, you know, started writing songs and... Uh, so we're, uh, we're up to 66 now, this is yeah, about six, seven about years. Six years, yeah. What's the most difficult thing about making the Monkees records? Uh, Thinking up new stuff? <laughs> right, there's so many songs we have to do because of the show. I mean, the show, yeah, I because of the records, you know. Uh, there's a lot of songs we have to cut. We're on the second album right now. And how, many, uh, how many cuts in an album? Twelve, and we have, uh, we've done about 25 in the last six weeks. No wonder you're working day and night. <laughs>